My dad left home when I was three. He didn't leave much behind me. Just his old guitar and his old bottle of booze. I don't want to blame him because he ran in head for the meanest thing that he ever did. He was, before he left, he went and named me Sue. Well, I got must have thought of, it was quite a joke and it got a lot of laughs from a lot of folks. Seems I hired a fight my whole life through. Some guy would giggle and I'd get red and some guy would laugh and I'd bust his head. I'd tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. Well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. My fist got hard, my wits got keen. I'm rolling from town to town to hide my shame. Well, I made a vow to the moon and stars. I had to search the honky talks in the bars to kill that man who gave me that awful name. Well, I was getting burned in mid-July, and I was hitting town, and I was dope was dry, and I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. When I old saloon, street of mud, there was a table dealing studs, sat the dirty mange dog to name me Sue. Well, I knew I had a snake was my own sweet dad, from a warm picture from the mother had, and knew a scar on his cheek and his evil eye. Well, he was big and bent and gray and old, and I looked at him, my blood ran cold, and I said, My name is Sue. How do you do? <laughs> now you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told him. Well, I hit him hard right between the eyes. He went down with a mice surprise, come up with a knife, cut off a piece of my ear. Well, I busted a chair right across the seat and crashed through the wall into the street, kicking and then gouging in the mud and blood and beer. Well, I tell you, I fought tougher men, but I can't remember when. He kicked like a mule and bit like a crocodile. I heard him laugh, then I heard him cuss, and he went for his gun. I pulled mine first. He stood there looking at me, and I saw him smile. He said, son, the world is rough and the man's got to make it, he's got to be tough. So I knew it wouldn't be there to help you along. So I gave you that name and I said goodbye. I knew you had to get tough or die and that's a name that helped make you strong. He said, no, nah, you just fought one hell of a fight and now you know you hate me and you got the right to kill me now. I wouldn't blame you if you do. Well, I thought I'd thank you before I die for the growling guts and the spit in the eye because I'm the son of a bitch that named you Sue. Yeah, what could I do? What could I do? Well, I got all choked up and threw down my gun and called him Pa and he called me son and came up with a different point of view. Well, I think about him every now and then, every time I try and every time I win. And if I ever have a son, I think I'm going to name him Bill or George or anything, but you, I still hate that name, I swear to God. <laughs> Johnny Cash, boy named Sue. I probably could have did it better, but if I only knew the words. <laughs> I know, I know them, you know, the song, but. Uh. Yeah, Folsom Prison. <laughs> let's let's try folks in prison. I hear the train a coming and they're rolling around the bend. Ain't seen no sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom prison. 
time keeps on dragging on, but that train keeps on rolling down that San Antonio. Well, this is a summer version. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Rio just to watch him die. And whenever I hear that whistle blown, I hang my head and cry. Well, this is a, a slower, I like the slower version. <laughs> yeah, because, you know. That uh, John Cash one, that was quick and fast. I didn't like that. You know, like, you're just gone, gone, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I bet there's rich folks eating and fancy dining in the car. They were probably drinking coffee and smoking big fat cigars. Well, I knew I had it coming. I know I can't be free, but those people keep on moving, and that's what tortures me. I mean, this is slower. I like that. It should be like that. For people like me. Well, if they keep feeding me from this prison, that railroad train was mine. I better move a little longer, further down the line. Far from this Folsom prison, that's where I want to stay. I bet that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Ah! <coughs> <coughs> the end. Oh, that was a rip off. That was the end. Huh. I walked the line. Let's try three in a row, huh? There we go. I walked the line by Johnny Cash, saying my Carl Case. He understands the words is slow and unfortunately there's nothing he can do about it, sorry for the inconvenience. I keep a close watch on his heart of mine. Psh, that ain't slow. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. That ain't slow, that's fast. I keep the edge out of the, the tight of mine. It's, called, it's quick. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Oh, it's stupid. I find it very, very easy to be true. <laughs> I find myself alone when each day is through. Yes, I admit that I'm a fool for you. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Oh, this is really quick and fast. As sure as night is dark and day is light, I keep my mind both day and night. <laughs> and happiness I knew improves its right. Because you're mine, I walk the line. You want to see? You've got a way to keep me on your side. 
You give me cards because I cannot hide. For you, I know I've been turned to tide. Because you're mine, I'll walk the line. See what I'm dealing with? Not see what I'm dealing with? See that? I don't think it's easy, huh? I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends all pressed where this binds. Cause you're mine, I walk the line. Oh, now I'll go slow. No, I suppose that's the end. Ah, oh, Jesus. That goes really slow right at the end, right? Please rate and subscribe. Thumbs down. Boy name Sue. Here we go again. <laughs> ah, let's try it again, huh? Ooh, look at that big large version. Yeah, let's show commercial first. Let's show commercial first, sure. Skip the ad. There you go. Boy named Sue, Johnny Cash. Well, my daddy left home when I was three. Oh boy, here we go. Just a guitar and an empty bottle of booze. No, I don't blame him because he ran and hid, but the meanest thing he ever did was before he left, he went and named me Sue. Well, he must have thought it was quite a joke from a lot of he laughed and a lot of jokes and a lot of folks. Seems I had to fight my whole life through. Some guy would giggle and I'd get red, and some guy would laugh and I'd bust his head. Life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. He, uh... <laughs> well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. Which guy hired me? Which guy king? Roam from town to town to hide my shame. My name I vowed to the moon decides I search the hunt dogs in the bars and kill that man that ever gave me that awful name. Well, it was all Gothenburg in mid July and I was throat and it was all dry and I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. And an old saloon in the street of mud and a table of dim and stud. Sat the dirty, grin, mingy, grainy guy named me Sue. Well, I knew that a snake was my own sweet dad and from the worn out picture that my mother had. And then I knew that scar in his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old, and I looked at him, my blood ran cold. My name is Sue, how do you do? Now you're going to die. <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> well, I hit him high right between the eyes, right between the eyes. He came up with a loud cough, a piece of my ear. Well, I bust a chair right across the seat, and crashed into the wall, into the street, kicking it in the gulge in the mud and blood and beer. <laughs> Well, I tell you, I fall was tough for me, but I couldn't remember when he kicked like a mule and bit like a crocodile. I heard him laugh, then I heard him cuss. Then he went for his gun, I pulled my purse, and he sit there looking at me, and I saw him smile, and he said, Son, this world is rough, and his man is going to make it, he's got to be tough, so I knew I wouldn't be there to help you along. So I gave you that name and I said goodbye and I knew you had to get tough or die. And that's why I named you to name you, name to keep you strong. Yeah, he said, no, you just fought one hell of a fight. You know, you hate me, you got the right to kill me now. I wouldn't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die and grab my guts and spit in the eye. Because I'm the son of a bitch that named you Sue. Yeah, what could I do? Oh, what could I do? I got all choked up and threw down my gun. Call me Paul and call him son. And come up with a different point of view. I think about him every now and then, every time I try and every time I win. And if I ever have a son, I'm going to name him Bill or George, any damn name, 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 boy, name, so I still hate that name, yeah. Rest in peace, man in black. Wow, look at that. I wonder. I wonder. 
One piece at a time, one piece at a time. 1976. Look at, there he is. Oh my god, I actually get to see it. That's the car. <laughs> Look at that. One piece at a time. Look at that. Look at that. Every piece is different. There is the actual car. One head, one tail fin, and one didn't. Look at that. And from a bunch of guys, they the other guys whispering to the guys, said, what? Look at that. He actually did it. Look at that. One piece at a time. Huh. That's, uh, I, this is my first time I actually seen it. And look at, see, back in the day, number of plain flat land. See that? Yeah, I guess those are the guys that helped them put it together. Look at that. Look at the door. Wow. They had three lights. But somehow they didn't know it, but all three of them came out when they hit the... Look at the hood. What a joke. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay, YouTube, Carl Kish, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoy the show. And subscribe. And the haters out there, y'all need to move around. Y'all don't like me? Move around. I'm trying to let the past go. Maybe y'all should let the past go, too. Bye.